We are the only G7 economy not back to its pre-pandemic size. Well, We're the, unique for, in that. for the private sector, that's not true. It is the public sector that is, is actually those, that, that, that data is not yet at that level. But Right, but as a whole, yeah. when you we, compare well, to G7 nations, we're the only I, one. I've tried in this conversation to be very open about the challenges we face. We face I'm a, just wondering what's unique to the UK. Well, we have had... Because everyone's had the war in Ukraine and the pandemic. Well, except yeah. the challenge that we do need to okay. get growth going in the economy. You haven't mentioned Brexit. The OBR hasn't changed its view on its assessment of Brexit. Perhaps that is one of the reasons why we're different compared to other G7 nations. Mm. They still say, the OBR, that there will be a 4% long-term hit to mm. our economy, even with all the things mm. that you have announced today. Isn't it time to be honest with people about that? Well, we gave people a choice. That decision was made seven years ago. I think people, most people want... But people didn't want, vote to be poorer, did people, they? People want... They made a choice, and we as a government are now taking advantage of all the opportunities that we can. Do you think people voted to be poorer, yes or no? I think people made a decision around a range of factors. Um, and Do you I, think they I, voted to be poorer, honestly? I think people were given a choice and they made a decision.